said she's willing to wait 700 years for us. Huh. Don Hung, how long can humans live for? Here we are, Everwinter Monument. Photo time! Oh, Pela and Hook are here too. Let's make sure we get them in the background. next. tell you to knock before <laughs> it's you three come on in i was just talking to clara about you how have you been big sister mr fall's workshop is amazing there are all kinds of things i like it here a lot miss serval clara is such a well-mannered kid meanwhile the architect's children are still calling me auntie and making me feel old photo this feels like one of my fan meetups. <laughs> anyway, for you guys, I do autographs for free. Photo. Oh, I remember. When I was little, Mr. Sparrow took a photo for me. Over here, Clara. Wanna learn some cool poses? Great! I wish the photographers at my shows had your skills. Huh? Am I really that short? I thought... Don't worry. If you eat like Don Hung, you'll be as tall as him one day. <laughs> uh, I'll let that slip. Here, keep it. A little farewell gift from the Astral Express. Huh? You're leaving so soon? I understand. Well, this photo will always be close to my heart. I'll make a copy for you too, Clara. Th thanks, Miss Serval. Big sister, March, Dan Hung. Thanks for taking care of me. Safe travel. If you have time, please come back and visit me and Mr. Svara. <sighs> That's enough sightseeing and photo taking to last me a while. Time to head back to the Goethe Hotel for a good night's sleep. Mm. We can sleep when we're back on the Express. Not so fast. Last time we were here, that evil Madam Guardian interrupted us before we'd gotten the most out of our luxury suites. Don't you think we should make up for it? Come on. Kimiko and Mr. Yang are grown-ups. I'm sure they'll cope without us for one night. 
Besides, don't you want to chit-chat with the locals now that Bellabog is full of life again? I know I do. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. Oh, it was a close thing, all right. Good thing it dawned on me. Hey, Sampo doesn't have to be a protagonist, right? <laughs> the likes of us are better suited to, uh, shadowy comic relief, eh? Turns out the Astral Express crew is more fun than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> you, you liked it? Really? <laughs> Told you so. No, no! I'm in no hurry to leave. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, Epsilon? <laughs> what fun can you get out of a giant vanity fair like that? <laughs> True happiness always entails the manifestation of the dignity of mankind. Now that's a quote I live by. Well, bye for now. Send my regards to the guys and girls in the tavern. Oh, and don't forget to say that Sampo Kaski will catch them for the next one. Time to make my curtain call. To you, my dear audience, I dedicate my performance. I wonder, did I bring a little more joy into your lives? <laughs> you don't have to answer that. But if the answer is no, then you'll break my heart. We should be getting back to the Express. Time to find March and Dunhung. Morning! How did you sleep? I'm full of energy myself. Copycatitis still has no cure, I see. Did you get Himiko's message? It's time to go. Uh, the conductor will nag us again if we put the express behind schedule. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, pack your souvenirs and stuff. Back home we go. Goodbye. Hmm. Nothing lasts forever. <laughs> You'll stop feeling sad the moment you set foot on the express. Hey, I'm not that heartless, you know. Priorities? What do you mean? 
Are you saying rebuilding the underworld isn't one of your priorities? Uh, of course not. I I'm just saying we have limited assets and we need new parameters. Assets, parameters. You sure love your fancy words. Uh, forget it. Leave it to me. I'll go down myself. <gasps> Come on, Sila. I won't leave you to- Look, Branya! <sighs> There'll be plenty of difficulties waiting for them, right? Yes. Their future is filled with even more uncertainty than ours. But we will prevail here, even if it means arguments like this go on forever. <laughs> they won't go on forever if I win them. Welcome home, you three. Mr. Yang! Team Trailblaze, back from duty! Mission one accomplished! Although Welt and I didn't get the chance to go with you, I can tell you worked hard to bring things back to normal. Well done, everybody. And especially you. I heard a lot of good things about you. <laughs> Confidence goes a long way. Get some rest on the Express. Urelo 6 was not an easy ride. Pom Pom is of the opinion that we should leave as soon as possible to avoid potential resurgences of the anomalies we experienced earlier. Himiko and I agree. Which means we need to decide where our next destination is soon. That's right. That's the path of the Nameless, I presume. Always on the road, always trailblazing. Uh, I'm not complaining, by the way. One adventure after another? That's exactly what I signed up for. <laughs> Looks like March has fallen in love with the Way of the Nameless. That's good to hear. You can head back to your rooms for some rest. Or stay here and make yourselves a cup of coffee. Whichever you like. I'll head back to my room then. There I was thinking this guy would gradually open up. We need to give him some time, March. I think he treasures the time spent with you guys. About your battle against the Supreme Guardian and the whole Stellaron situation, you must have a lot of unanswered questions, I suppose. While you were away, Weld and I did some research and came to some interesting conclusions. Let me know if you want to ask about anything. Ah, home sweet home. Mr. Yang and Himeko must be bored given how long our train had to stay here. Where's our next stop? I can't wait! 